Thank you to today's video sponsor. The camera used to film the video is powered by a USB power bank with a built-in solar panel for charging. No more running out of power and looking for an outlet. Please find the link in the description and demonstration in the video. Now let's get fishing. Nice, made it out for the sunrise. Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So beautiful out here this morning. We're in the San Francisco Bay. God, it's getting towards the end of March now and the water temperature, 53 and a half degrees. It's still so cold out here. It's because of this cold spell going through the Bay Area. Just won't leave, but soon enough, the water's gonna warm up and these halibut are gonna bite like crazy, I have a feeling. But the halibut, they're moving in. Even though the water's cold, you know, they're still gonna eat, they're still gonna be hungry. They're just not gonna be as active as we would like. But plan today is to get a nice keeper. And for bait, we're using some herring. I caught these myself in the bay during a spawn. Uh, we'll have a flasher, or yeah, this flasher here, the dodger. Back to our uh, hook and treble hook. So if you've seen me fish for halibut before, you've probably seen that rig. We'll go ahead and get it rigged up and start trolling. So if you guys saw the video when I caught these herring, then you know I got a few hundred of them and I sorted them all in sizes. These are the smallest ones. Um, they're probably, what is that, five, six inches. So a really good size for trolling out here. And I used these once before, early, early uh, February. They worked well. Um, people suggested that I brine them, which is probably a great idea. I didn't do that and I didn't, uh, you know, suffer any consequences for not doing that the first time. So uh, I expect they'll work again good today. So we want to land the hook right between the eyes from underneath, just like that. And go ahead and stick the back treble hook in it. Now the way these, uh, this rig is designed is you can pull it tight to get a bend in it. Uh, you can slide it through. And so we're gonna put it in the water and you know make sure we're getting a good spin, getting a good play on it. So the size weight I'm using out here is 16 ounce. In San Francisco Bay, that's pretty much always gonna be the size you're using when trolling. You know, the depth of water is gonna determine that. I would say this is good from you know, about 10 to 30 feet. So I control my kicker motor with the tail fin and I power it with the eye troll. That gives me a basically a percentage there. And then, you know, as I turn that up, the motor will rev up. So one of my most frequently asked questions is the speed you want to go in halibut trolling. And it's really hard to just say that a certain number, I mean, it's going to range between 0.5 and 3.5 miles per hour. And that's just going to depend on the currents in the, in the bay that day. Um, but the biggest thing you want to do is just look at your bait in the water, see how it's reacting, um, and just go based off that. So right now, we're if we're in neutral, we're going about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 miles per hour. So to get play out of our lure, you know, we're probably going to have to go, you know, two, two and a half miles per hour. Okay, so our Dodger's getting some good action there. And our bait looks pretty good. I think we could start with that. So now for halibut trolling, we wanna be going along the bottom. That's where these fish live. They usually are on the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna rock the boat. See how we're not tapping the bottom right now? So that means we're obviously above it. So we'll go ahead and pull a little bit more out. We'll wait for our tip to tell us that we're touching the bottom. There, you see how we're touching now? Because now you can see when we rock it, we're touching bottom. So we're just, you know, going right above it right now. Um, you're gonna wanna see what your depth is. And then if you know move a, a foot or two higher or lower, you're gonna wanna come back here and change it.
might have something on there right now already. Yep, that was real fast, guys. I mean, we've been fishing for two minutes. I think it's a good size one. So when it gets closer here, we're gonna determine if we're gonna be using our net or the gaff. Kinda of like the way this one's feeling. one we're going to want to gaff. There we go. So people want to know why would you want to use a gaff? Um, they think it's harder maybe. I mean, it does take a while to get used to it. When you do, it's, it's easier than a net, I swear. Um, other reason is is your halibut's not shaking all over the boat. My leader line's staying real fresh. If I put it in the net, this thing's gonna flop all over the place. The leader line's gonna get all spun up. Uh, so it's just a lot cleaner. Well, that was the kind of start we wanted. Nice looking fish, probably 26 inches or so. I already bonked it. Go ahead and start bleeding it, get our bait back down, and then we'll give it a measure and away. All right, second bait, let's check it out. All right, you see how we're not getting a rotation really much on our bait? I'm gonna put more of a spin on it, pull it tighter. Now our bait looks good. All right, second one going down. So I wanted to show you guys this new product I got from Quaco. I'll have a uh, link in the description. So it's a battery pack, but it's just not any ordinary battery pack because it charges from the sun. It has a solar panel on it. So this is how I'm gonna charge my GoPro's out here now, I'll show you how I do it in a second. But when it's in the sun, it's charging. And if we were to take it out, there, now it's stopped charging. I mean, how cool is that? Sun charging. Also, has a uh, flashlight. I mean, how great is this if you're camping? And it has all of your USB ports here as well. So pretty neat product, definitely happy to have this on board. So now the GoPro is charging and we're not going to run out of battery. All right, so let's give this fish a measure. I'm thinking 25, 26. Yep, just barely over 25. What the heck is that? School of something pretty big. Those are big fish, several of them. So you're gonna wanna check your bait, you know, every, every 15, 20 minutes, make sure you haven't been bit, you know, a scratched bait, or if you pick up some debris. And I usually always like to check it too, also when you make a turn. So I'm trying to just make like a circle or an oval out here. I guess more of an oval. Um, so every time I switch direction again, that's usually when I want to uh, pick it up. So I just made, you know, a 180. 
Funny how sometimes you catch one, you know, first cast. I mean, we're trolling, but first two minutes, it's like first first cast in a way, right? Just instantly catch one and then nothing for an hour. So I've been fishing this section pretty much all by myself. No other boats out in this area. And there's a bunch of them straight out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up uh, and go see if, uh, you know, maybe there's some halibut down that area. There were some boats here earlier and basically everyone's gravitated to that section. So uh, haven't gone in here in over an hour. Might as well try a new spot out. Alright, so we're down in our new spot now. A bunch of boats, party boats, commercial boats. So the professionals are in this area. You would want to think that's where there's some fish, so we'll give it a try for a little bit. Part of the reason too why I moved is I wasn't marking any bait anymore in that spot. Earlier on I was marking some, and then after just a while, no bait for so long, it's time to find a new spot. Bummer. I mean, usually when you're just trolling for these halibut, you just hope they stick. There's not much you can really do if they get off. Well, good news is we got bit. Well, we showed up to the new spot and got bit in the first 10 minutes. That was a good sign. And I am seeing some of the boats gaffing and netting fish. I mean, not a whole bunch, but you know, in the 20 minutes or so I've been here, it definitely seems to be some fish. Looking forward to hopefully getting a second one. Two is definitely my goal when I come out here. And I feel like that, you know, probably should be the limit, at least this year with salmon season closed. Um, I mean, the halibut obviously can get hit real hard. Everyone's been talking about it. Um, and yeah, I don't know why they don't take any measures to protect the halibut. Cause clearly that's what everyone's gonna be going for this year. All the charter boats. You know, and the the private people. So feel bad if you're a halibut. And you know, people talk a lot about eating the fish out of the bay. Some people are have no problem doing it. Some people won't do it at all. And some people are in the middle. And I guess that's where I kind of stand in the middle. I try not to eat them too often. Um, but you know, I think once a month, if you have a piece of halibut from the bay, everything should probably be all right. Uh, definitely this year, though, plan is to target halibut in the ocean. Have some runs in it, but I don't think like it has as much weight behind it. Smaller keeper, probably. We'll net this one. It's 
It's actually it's just short. Maybe big, maybe touches 22, but too short for me to keep. 21 and a half inches. So we'll go ahead and let this one go. We gotta be 22. Man, I really thought that one was a keeper. But by the way it fell, it did feel light. So it's 12.30 now. We got our first fish around 7.30 this morning. And then about nine, we got a bite. Unfortunately, we lost that one. And then we got a shaker about 12 o'clock, but it's become really hard to fish because of this fast outgoing tide. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in now with the 25 incher. Really happy to get that one here. It's with this water being so cold, low 50s. Feels good to get it. And then if you guys are interested in how I've been charging my camera all day, USB cord down to that guy right there. Really cool unit, love being able to charge it. The solar, just like that. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys.